What's up, Rockets? I'm Gavin Magallanes. And I'm Jessica Muir. And this is the J Rocket TV broadcast for the week of October 8th, 2015. Our top story, the Austin City Limits Music Festival kicked off this past weekend. The live music event includes over 70 artists and bands performing and signing autographs. Leading guests includes ASAP Rocky, Chance the Rapper, Drake, the Foo Fighters, The Weeknd, and many, many more. This past weekend was just the first of ACL's two weekend events. The music festival continues this upcoming weekend starting Friday, October 9th through Sunday, October 11th. This weekend is the last one of ACL 2015, so get your tickets while you can. And tech news, a new type of 3D printer created by Disney uses cloth rather than plastic or metal. The result is an object that is softer and much more pliable in relation to the rough texture of normal 3D printers. By laying down a piece of fabric, the printer uses a laser to cut out the shapes and layer them on top of one another to create the desired shape. The printer is also not confined to one type of material. Ranging from cotton to felt, any fabric is usable. Even rigid materials, like electronics, can be used in this type of printer. Although the printer hasn't reached a stage of printing stuffed animals, in the future it could be used to make toys and clothes. Now here's Trace with a take on the new sci-fi movie, The Martian. When a violent storm forces a manned Mars mission to be cut short, the crew sent on the expedition heads back home, but accidentally forgets one of their own crew on the barren planet. I guarantee you that at some point, everything's going to go south on you. Ready? And you're going to say, this is it. What the hell? This is how I end. Commander, Mark is dead. We have to go. Yeah. Now you can either accept that, or you can get to work. This will come as quite a shock to my crewmates, and to NASA, and to the entire world. But I'm still alive. The Martian is one of the most fun movie experiences we've gotten this year. Watching Matt Damon trying to use his extremely scarce resources to survive until a rescue team can save him is way more engrossing than it may sound. This is most definitely due in part to the fact that Damon gives his all for the film, exuding a brilliant sense of charm aided by a surprisingly snarky and funny script. In fact, funny is the biggest thing that comes to mind when thinking of this movie, and that's why it works so well. It may not be as involved as Interstellar or as visually gripping as Gravity, but it's a really great time at the theater. Even if the idea of being stranded alone on Mars is a dreary concept, Damon's character is incredibly optimistic and never lets it get the best of him. His determination is as endearing as it is contagious, inspiring the star-studded NASA crew on Earth to get him home safe. The Martian is a clever and thrilling space adventure that's worth going on more than once. I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5. To see my writings, check out gotchamovies.com, and to hear more of my words, subscribe to the official Gotcha Movies podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud. Judson's IBSO, IB Steward Organization, is hosting a Change for Change fundraiser in which theme changes every month. This month's theme is the ongoing fight for survival for Syrian refugees. As most of us have heard, the terrorist group ISIS is targeting everyone. Refugee camps have been set up and therefore require funds. By visiting rooms G211, Portable 7, and P230, you can show your support by donating the change in your pockets. Now here is this guy beside me, Malik, with the week's word on the street. What's the word on the street this week, Gavin? Oh, what are your plans for homecoming? What are y'all doing this week? Y'all gonna be working or y'all gonna be at homecoming? Tell me. Homecoming, I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna stay home. Well, I work, so uh, come visit me at Red Robin. I'm gonna take my girl Mary on the homecoming. That's what it is. And I'm about to turn up, you know, a couple of dance moves in my pocket that I, I want to bring out that they ain't ready for. Just have a good time. It's my senior year. We got to turn up. Coming. I'm just trying to chill with my girl, you know. Man, I'm not going. Why not? Because I'm not. Go to Hooters. No plans for homecoming. You know, I'm going to go out, get my boo thing, you know, take her out, you know, and just ball out, you know what I mean? Work. Um, you know, I'm going to come up in the all-white suit and go home. Um, Go to homecoming and turn up. Yeah. I'm not going to homecoming. Man, I'm finna sit at home. And not do nothing. We finna turn up! Hey! <laughs> what are my plans for homecoming? Well, I gotta work on homecoming day, but I'm going to the game. Uh, go make this money. I got a job, boy. Money a job. never stops. I need, I need me a... Bro, oh, competition. 
and then we're gonna go to homecoming and we're gonna go out to eat. Man, I'm gonna go have fun. I'm gonna turn up. After that, I'm gonna hit up the limo, party, buy some more J's because I get paid. That's about it. I'm about to get dressed up and tear up the dance floor. You Look, my plans for homecoming is to go with my cousin Amber and, you know, support Justin and be there as a rocket. Well, that seems to be all the time we have this week, Rockets. I'm Gavin Magallanes. And I'm Jessica Muir. And this has been J Rocket TV. To see more of our content, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash J Rocket TV. We'll see you next week, Rockets. Mm -hmm.